according to new reports, after the recent release of as many as 5,600 previously detained illegal migrants into several Texas towns, residents and officials are outraged as they're stuck with the bill for their medical care. Now, already nearly 20 of the recently released migrants have been admitted to local hospitals with fevers, leaving Texas taxpayers to pay for the rising costs of medical treatment. With staggering numbers of illegal migrants being detained each month at the U.S.-Mexico border, law enforcement officials are overwhelmed, leading to the release of nearly 6,000 illegals into just three towns. As the crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border continues to escalate, law enforcement and city officials, as well as citizens, are left struggling to cope with the massive influx of migrants while lawmakers remain divided on the issue. From 100% fed up Brownsville, Texas is one of several towns in Texas that has been inundated with illegals released by the Border Patrol because resources are overwhelmed and overstretched. It's the plan, and it's working. America is expected to see over 1 million illegals cross over our border in fiscal year 2019. It's a Merkel-style fundamental transformation of America. The city manager of Brownsville, Texas Noel Bernal told the Brownsville Herald that U.S. Customs and Border Protection told him that approximately 5,600 illegals would be released in Brownsville, Harlingen, and McAllen this week. The load on any local city to provide for a sudden mass influx of needy people is huge. The taxpayers pay for the services used by the illegals when they arrive needing food, shelter, medical care and education. Bernal said the city is preparing for the group. That's the total number we are aware of and are preparing to process to handle. U.S. Border Patrol Sector Chief Agent Rodolfo Karish said that the releases are necessary because the Rio Grande Valley sector's resources are overwhelmed and overstretched. That's why the three cities started receiving the illegals last week and will continue to see them arriving in their towns. One of the problems is the illness brought in with the illegals. They cannot be released until they are well. 19 of the illegals ended up in the local hospital with fevers. Who pays for this? You do. Healthcare is expensive enough without a mass infusion of people looking for health freebies. Brownsville Mayor Tony Martinez voiced his concern. That's one of my biggest concerns in the sense of when they detain someone, and they are either believed to be ill or show symptoms of illness, the law requires them to provide medical assistance before they release them into the general public.